Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another video here on the Poker Staples channel. Pretty fun stream tonight. Uh, it's actually in real time, the day before the $10,000 millions. Now you've already seen that on this channel. If you haven't, go watch it. I hope, I hope we win. Hopefully we just don't bust first hand. But this is the stream before. So it is the Saturday before. Uh, we made a really deep run in the $320 Gladiator. So I thought it'd be a good one to share with you all. If you have any comments, let me know down in the comments below. And without further ado, enjoy. Raise it up in the 320 with the Queen Jack. Um, raise, 3 bet to 5k, we're gonna call. Whoa! This is how I wanna start the millions tomorrow, dude. Flopping the top two paired, no big deal. No big deal at all. Check, check, we're gonna bet. I, f I hear some more sub alerts going through. What's happening here? Oh, is the thing not connected? What's happening? Byron gifted more subs, dude! Byron, thank you so much, dude. I really appreciate the support. Another 10, making it 17 gifted subs in the house from Byron. All right, King 3 suited. I call 700. Of course, look at this, dude. Look at that flop. Are you kidding me? Open ender, flush draw. We cover as well. Do we want to check raise here? It's such a combo draw. I think we give it a go. I mean, they're typically going to have the edge here, but I don't mind gambling, you know? I'm okay with a bit of a gamble here. We have a flush. Flushes are good. We're going to keep betting here. They fold in the turn, okay. Do we want to play here? I mean, I want to play. I don't really want to squeeze and like get it all in because it's not the best hand. We have hostile between, but I will call because it flops pretty well. And with his bounty, very accessible. Sort of a crack him hand, you know? I don't mind it. They bet here, it's a bit of a tough spot. They bet into four people. Um, I guess I'm gonna call in that we have some pretty decent equity when a seven, eight or a nine rolls off. Because their most likely hand at this point, I would say, is ace-10, aces, kings, queens, jacks type hands. Uh, in which case, like, having 20% with a bounty included as well is all right. It's an okay thing, you know? But the ace in the turn doesn't help us. We just we just check here. Goes check, check. They might have, like, kings or something. All right. Well, I'm going to go for bluff, actually. I'm assuming that they don't bluff, like, ace-king, ace-queen on the flop. Um, so I'm just gonna shove all in and see if we can get it through and we did which is nice as we are getting some action here with a big hand The best hand Oh, hostile do your thing man Go all in here. Oh, they fold Okay, so I call the reason I'm calling I think it's good to slow play sometimes here And I think whale shark is gonna have quite a wide three bet range given this situation Bet on the flop and they fold that's it. All right flop at a two pair man it's a very short stack, hostile. I'm gonna go for the small bets. Call it off against 9-8, hold, yeah, full house on the turn. Come on, man. 79 bounty coming our way, we gotta call off. Don't slow roll. Up top, come on, Barry. Not today. All right, we busted 55, but we get a $76 bounty here. And 9-8 of hearts. Happy to play this, hostile, pretty short in the big blind as well. So something to keep in mind. I'm going to three bet here, actually. My reason for three betting, I don't wanna call and then have Hostile decide to go all in sometimes. Because if they go all in, then it's like the door is open for R4. And they can just be like, oh, well, I'm going to shove anything, and he's going to have to fold. And I would have to fold 9-8. Whereas now, I have three bets, and if Hostile gets it in, we often get to see a flop. Or, if they fold, now there's not nearly as much as incentive for R4 here, right? So it's an interesting one. Let's see how they respond. They can go to the next level and be like, okay, well, he's wider for three betting so i'm gonna four bet wider etc 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 as played they four bet to 25k i think our hand plays well enough getting about three to one odds in position that we should call you know flop an open-ended straight draw flop a flush draw what have you and you know our hand plays pretty easily and if we don't we flop something like this a second pair on an a side board it's kind of tough you know i think we should at least call the flop again getting an incredible price and then decide what to do on the turn eight three clubs is not so great Pretty bad card for a couple of reasons. One of the reasons, obviously, they could have a flush. But another reason is that they're going to have a few more hands they can bluff here. You know, if they pick up a club draw, they might decide to continue their story uh, and keep betting, which means we're going to get to showdown less with a hand like 9-8. R4 checks. We will happily check here and see a river. Didn't go very well. <laughs> Did not go very well, man. Oh, okay. King Jack, it's too bad. I mean, we did the right things against that hand, I think. You know, we we 
got money in when we had the best of it, and we checked when we didn't. That's disappointing, though. It runs out of better hands, and they were ahead percentage-wise pre-flop, so fair enough. Open the fives, get a call from R4. They go for a little bet here on the 883. Have you seen the meme opening on Fridays, Jamie? I have seen the uh, the meme competition from Casino Daddy. I love it, dude. It's hilarious. It is very funny. Get check raise, we call. Uh, I expect them to check raise this board a lot. So I still bet recognizing they're going to have more eights than we do here. Um, just because I I think we're just going to get more value most of the time with our fives. And they've got 16 2 on the turn. Again, I think they're going to call here. They're selling the story that they have an eight. It's, of course, possible to have an eight, but I don't think it's super likely. So again, I call, especially given our history too, if they just four bet King Jack, uh, C bet flop and hit, you know, have shown that they're going to be extremely aggressive at times. So I think I like calling down here, to be honest. Beat King 10. All right. Beat King 10 for the ace three. Bet, get a raise. We call, of course, with the top pair. Back to our flush draw. Feel pretty good about our hand. The six of spades is a really bad card though. Because it completes the flush. That's the most obvious draw they can have. Of course, they can still have hands like Queen Jack or Queen 9 or Jack 9 type hands. Um, but their most likely draw is a flush draw. Got a 13,000 from Cooler Kid Ace Ace here on the turn. Now, that's very small. We're talking 3 to 1 odds in position here. We should probably call one more and then decide what to do on the river. Or we have trips. Kind of tough here. If they jam, I don't think trips actually changes too much for us. Just makes it a little bit less likely they had a King 10 type hand. But comparatively, a little bit more likely they had a flush draw. You know what I mean? B Queen Jack. That is lucky. It's one of those straight draws we mentioned. Queen Jack. We're in the 320 and the 55 on our first bullet, and we're in the Twitch Open. It's really a warm up today before tomorrow, so we're not going for a huge, massive grind or anything. We're just getting some hands in, playing a bit, chatting about the event tomorrow, flopping the nuts. So yeah, cash is nothing yet. Uh, we have one bounty here for 13 bucks and one bounty here for 80 bucks. A lead for pot. How do we get the most money here? The thing is when they lead, I don't know how often they're going to fold on the turn. And sometimes we lose some value by seeing turns. They might get afraid on some turns. But then raising stops any bluffing from going on. So I think I'm going to call. Come on. Let's go chat. 183k coming our way. That takes us up to 220 or so. 230-ish. And we get our second bounty, 158.96. Let's just call it 160 in bounties. Come on, man. Let's go. Uh, we're going to go back down to the 320 for a second where we call the all-in. 20 big blind shove, but we cover for a bounty. We're going to have a lot of flips here, including right now. That's a good turn. Come on, man. We will take the flip. We will win the chips. And it feels nice, man. I'm going to make it 36k to go. I mean, it's not really a bluff, right? Like, we could have the best hand here. But really trying to get them to fold pre-flop is the idea. As we're up to 120 people registered in the tournament tomorrow. Long thinking to call. Uh, got a C-bet, I think. I was trying to figure out a sizing where I was going to be able to shove the turn if I wanted to. Pretty much only want to on a queen. Um, maybe a 9. But that's kind of it. Even like a king or a 10, I don't really like shoving. R4 calls. We see a 7 on the turn. I will check. Morny Plains, first time I watch you live and can see me as well. well. What's up, yo? Welcome to the live version, my friends. I'm assuming you came over from YouTube. Good to see you here. Oof, really tiny bet at 32k, but we'll fold and that's all right. We're all in with the queens and the 320 knockout. Please win the hand, please. Win the hand, please. Win the hand, please. You can say Shaq, hold. Hold. Deuce! Come on, chat. We're winning big pots. Let's go. We're winning big pots, chat. It's a moment in time. King Jack, GTA player is all in. So for 10 big blinds, I'm happy to call here. I'll even call if they shove. I mean, $80 bounty in play for 10 bigs. We love it. And the overshove, this is a 160 bounty. So it's worth it to gamble here. We're not going to bust the tournament even if we lose to both. So worth a gamble. Three off the money. We're ahead of it. Queen 10. Hold. Oh my God. We can't hold, man. We get it in ahead. Three off the money with King High. How do we do it? Oh my goodness. Now this is a weird spot because we're, it says we're 18 of 27, but we're not. We are 22 of 27. And we see a raise from Cactuson, who has a $158 bounty and 15 bigs. And we cover them, so I think we jam, but we put ourselves basically at risk on the bubble here. But I think we have to, because when we get caught, it's not as big of a deal. And we have a really great hand, A6 suited, you know. Yes! 
Oh my god, I saw the jacks first. I was like, oh. We got trapped. But then we hit it. We hit it. We got caught. And then uh, we got lucky. So I will forgive the Queen 10. We'll take it now. Come on, man. 394 in bounties. That's Salmon Fell. And we're two off the money. Very lucky there. We will take it. We've made the money. Red Felt hype. I was, I was so hyped up. We've cashed table five. Come on. So in a pretty good spot here. We're going to call the raise. 394 in bounties. 324 cash. We're happy. On the flop to the turn, which is a five. They bet again on the turn here. I'm going to actually fold a very small raise from Baccarat. We're going to call with the jack four of clubs and try and hit something. A check seven, probably the best hand right now, actually. Um, given how much money's in the pot here with 54,000, I'm not going to be folding my hand. Uh, the chances that they hit an ace is not super strong, to be honest. It goes check, check. We now have two pair. 30,000 is good. I like it. And a brick on the river. Of course, we're going to bet here for our, with our two pair. And hopefully get a double up. Hopefully they like slow played a really strong hand like an ace queen or something. Would be great. But they just fold and we'll pick it up. 213,000. H-Jack's pretty good. Happy to go all in here. We cover Baccarat as well for a 160 bounty. Come on, man. So we get a min raise. Happy with that. If Fat Toad goes for a shove, we'll call. They're going to shove very wide given they cover for the bounty. They cover both of us here. So I think Fat Toad's going to shove any pair. I think they're going to shove any broadways here. I think they're going to shove a hand like 8-9 suited. For example, so a Shack does very well against those. But they fold, and now we're going to shove. We're all in, man. We are all in. Same hand. All right. A bit anticlimactic, but okay. Uh, pocket fours. Mad Hatter goes for the raise. Pretty tough one here as to whether we want to move all in or not, Pre. Now Alice goes for it with a $316 bounty for nine bigs. So do we want to gamble for nine big blinds? 316 bucks is kind of a big deal, though. You know, that's a buy into the tournament. Um, I think probably we go with it here, man. There's 15 left, so the bounties are a little bit less relevant. Same time, this is quite a short stack, and it's quite a big bounty. Um, cheap player is one and a half million as well. So it's not like we're, like, super close to winning the tournament or anything. So yeah, I think we gamble here. Let's give it a go. Hold it. Deuce. Come on, man. 367k coming away. Massive pot and a big bounty. Let's go, chat. Let's win this thing, dude. That's a perfect start to the 10K Sunday coming up, man. That's perfect. 710 in bounties, 331 cashed. Limp in for 7,000. Okay. Mad Hatter, how you feeling? What are you thinking? Just retweeted. I hope I did it right. I see it, Axiom Fox, right here, man. I'm giving you the follow on Twitter, too. Call to the turn. Jack of Diamonds, which is uh, whatever card. You know, like, they might have a jack. If they had jack high, they'd probably bluff on the flop. You know, like, you don't necessarily have to bluff your ace highs. You don't necessarily have to bluff your king highs, but you kind of do with your queen highs and your jack highs and your ten highs and stuff. So, it's relevant in that sense. But at the end of the day, we still have a really strong hand here with king seven. So, a clear call. River, a ten of diamonds. Wow. Really thought we'd see the bluff there. Really did. I bet they had a worse seven because, yeah. Because it's such a good bluff spot, you know? I was very surprised to see a check and we win. I was expecting to see a bet. We call and win or we call and lose. Uh, Fat Toad goes for the raise to 30k. I'm going to call in position. Jack 10 of clubs. 9 of 14 here. Big spot, big moment. And it's a medium-sized tournament in relation to tomorrow's event. This one's $320 buy-in. But we could win this thing and win a free buy-in for tomorrow. Although we've already registered for tomorrow. But we could win about 10k, which would be amazing, man. Hmm. Check back. I'm not sure if I like betting or checking there. Nine on the turn is good for our range. The sorts of hands we have here like that card, but not our hands. And once we see a big bet like this, I'll fold. Mad Hatter goes for a raise to 28k. We're going to call it for 14,000. We go to a flop. Ace, queen, nine. We check. Call on the flop to the turn. Seven of clubs. Check, check on the turn. Deuce of clubs in the ends. I'm going to check. I don't think we turn our queen into a bluff. I think if we had a nine, we should probably bluff. You know, those would be good hands. Nine without a club would be good bluffs. But queen without a club, a little bit too much. We don't have that many value bets or anything, you know? Holds around a fat toad in the big blind. Yo, boy, old poker live. Thank you very much for the host, man. Whoa! Flop at a bottom set on a very dry, heavy board. Now, I don't think we actually want to bet huge here. I think 31k is a fine size. Stacks are not super deep. I want to allow them room to go for check raises. Um, so I don't want to put hands like Jack-10 and Jack-9 and 10-9 into the fold category. I'd rather bet smaller and induce some floats or bluffs with those. 
It's not balanced, but a, you know, it's a conscious choice anyways. Raise from Fat Dude, we're gonna call for 27,000. I'm gonna check. And the three go-to poker streams, two of them are staples, the third is a cheeky Lex. Keep them coming, Jamie. Cheers, man. You know, I think that's that's common too. To have like a grouping, right? To have like a couple streams you go to. And it's random the collections you can find. You know? Like sometimes it'll be like, oh yeah, I'm a fan of um, you know, Egyptian and Jamie and you know, um some cash game streamer, right? Like, and I watched those three. Like, it can be a random grouping. It's not always connected, um, which is funny how that works. We're up to 600,000, dude. This is kind of a thing. We're in eighth place. Baccarat, just go all in here. I love the bounty. We have a big hand with sevens. We flop another set like it's our job. Yeah, you got to jam, though. I mean, it's a pot size bet left. If I check, it looks too suspicious. Just jam it in there. Yeah, all right. It looks so, if I check, I just have the nuts every time. I just never don't. I just like a bluff 100% and value bet 100% on that board because of the stacks. So I think I just have to keep doing it. Even though like, oh, we could check and maybe let them hit a pair and then maybe they make a call, but it's just like, probably not. Come on, dude. Are you serious? Pocket Jack's here? We're chip leader on the table now? Come on, man. Man Hatter. I would love this bounty. Look at that 434, dude. That's a chunk. I like this bounty, but can we get even more? No. Can we get this one? 160 bucks. We're in a good spot. Pocket Jacks. Hold it. 710 in bounties, but there's another 158 in play here against Baccarat. We're talking the player. No, we have the same hand. How does Baccarat have the Jack Jack as well? I can't believe it. Chop it up. Moving on to the next hand. Uh, do we gamble here? They're all in for five big blinds. I think so, man. I think we gamble for five bigs. Why not? We don't want to call for Mad Hatter, but for five bigs with King Four, we're ahead. Oh, we're behind. No, man. We limp call here with the King Jack. Um, not covering. Raise in. We have two people with more chips than us now. But really good hand. Check, check of the flop. Yeah, I think 48k is cool. Raise and a call. We get 153k. I don't really know if this is the best or not. I'm not sure what to do here. Flatting is not good. You know, King Queen offsuit. Three ways. With two, you know, squeeze shove stacks behind, probably not a good idea. Um, squeezing is dangerous, though. You know, we have these two stacks behind that can just get it all in. Then we have to gamble for a lot. Plus, we still are sweating them having hands that can go all in here, and they can. You know, so it's a tough situation for us. Okay. We have top pair, and I got shot. We're really not protecting from too much here. Um, a jack is fine. A king is whatever. An ace is bad. That's We're protecting from an ace, but really not too many things. So I don't mind checking, controlling the size of the pot. We see a nine on the turn. Doesn't change much here. They're not going to have very many nines. Like, I'd be surprised if they had ace nine suited or nine ten suited. So that doesn't change too much. And they bet 135. We're going to call in a second. The interesting thing here, too, we block king jack straight draw as well. You know what I mean? They can still have aces and kings. And they can slow play with aces and kings behind and hope for a squeeze. Uh, they can have... I don't think they have tens. I don't think they have quad nines. I think they back raise those hands. I don't think they have queens. I doubt they would slow play with queens. So I think aces and kings is primarily what we're worried about here. And perhaps ace queen offsuit. Although I think ace queen offsuit sometimes is going to go all in over the top as well. So I think we should probably call here. Tough one. In a squeeze pot, you flop top pair, second nut kicker. It's just a tough situation. We played as slow as we can to include as many bluffs as we can. But I think at this point we call. So here we go. We call. Tens full. Would not have expected that hand. Definitely expected that hand to jam pre. Do something pre. Like, I get I get the first part, right? Which is like, I get the first part. You know, chip leader raises under the gun. That's fine. Uh, and then we squeeze to 150. I mean, I'm just surprised to see a call here with, with tens, I think, you know? Especially given we have a pretty sizable bounty. You know, we got 7, 10 in bounties. 5, 10 cashed. I'm really surprised to see a call here with a hand as vulnerable as 10s as opposed to a jam. Uh, I think jam is the right play. That's what I would do. And a sucky flop. We check. Our reason for checking here is like, is there any way we can get out of this? You know, like we flop top pair, second nut kicker. There's 400k in the pot. We have 550 left. Like we, it's really hard to go anywhere. But is there any way we can get out of this? Or is there any way that we can create some bluffs for Fat Toad, basically? Nine changes nothing about the board. Like we said, they don't have nine ten. Uh, they don't have 
ace nine suited. Um, and again, I don't think they have nines, but it technically it's two less combos, whatever. Bet call, river's a three. It's kind of annoying. It's kind of annoying then. Another hand that we didn't include in our analysis, which we should, would be king jack suited. I don't think king jack off is in there, but king jack suited. Now we have the king, so three combinations, you know, king jack of hearts, king jack of clubs, king jack of diamonds, I think is possible here too. It's really annoying though. It sucks we can't get away there. But anyways, uh, pretty good cash nonetheless. You know, a good result. 7 11 uh, in bounties and then 510 cash in the prize pool. So a profitable day. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, couldn't finish it out. Disappointing last hand. Tough one, dude. You know, in that three bet pot, like with the king queen, uh, you'd love to get away there. Because on one hand, it's just like, man, how do they have a worse hand? But then at, on the other hand, it's like, oh, we have such a good hand relative to what, you know, like. Can they have, like, a random bluff ever? Could they ever just decide to call with Ace-King Pre and turn it into a bluff? Or, you know, the Ace-Jack open-ender, you know, uh, or whatever the open-ender was. I don't know. Tough one. Uh, it was disappointing, but at the end of the day, I, well, I'll sleep okay. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to see you come back and hang out once again. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. Until next time, we'll see you later.